What is good friends, back multi playoffs round 1, my man Insult vs Blark, this team was used in World Cup by Sabella and by Blark, so I'm pretty sure I know all the sets, unless they changed them, he changed them. Um, Specs, Tabulele, I think Spadef, Scorch, Recover, Toxic, Haze, Pax, Spadef, Tran with Rocks, Lava, Plume, Earth Power and Protect, Fizzdev, Rocky, Helmet, Tangros, Scarf, Lander with U-Turn, Earthquake, Default, I think the last move is Edge, it doesn't really need HP Ice because... Um, Tangos with Fist Death is like one of the best Zygarde answers you can get. Well, it can still get toxic, but you get what I'm trying to say. And then Greninja, if I recall correctly, is Protein Z move, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then Insult brings a Volcarona team. If the Volcarona is Shattered Psych with HP Ground, it can potentially um, win the game for him. But I don't think it's gonna be a Shattered Psych because he has other ways to deal with packs. He has a Tapu Fini, which gives um, Misty Terrain. So that way, um, Mawile and Garchomp can both switch into Scald from packs without having to fear getting burned because Misty Terrain prevents status. Um, so turn one. Mega Marvel vs Tapu Lele lead. This Lele is really good vs Insult because his steel resist is Mega Marvel, which has like bad spa death. So Black doesn't want to stay in here because uh, Lele cannot Oko the Marvel and they would just die to a play rough. Um, so Insult can probably go for a coverage move here that hits Heatran and Toxapex, or he can pull a double that covers Heatran and Toxapex, which would be a double into Finny or a double into Garchomp. Um, but if he has like knockoff or T-Punch, he can also go for that. If he has Focus Punch and he wants to predict the Heatran, that would also be a really hard play. I uh, definitely don't think that Black is gonna stay in and just throw the Lele out turn 1. Uh, because if Lele comes in on Fini, it can do big damage to Insult's team. It can also come in on something like Zap, because uh, Lele has decent spadef and can either hit from Zapdos. And Spec Psychic should uh, easily 2 KO like everything on Insult's team. Potentially even Oko some of his months. So he's never staying in here. He's either going Pex or Tran. So like I said, you can either go for a coverage move if you insult right here, or you can pull a double into like Garchomp or Tapu Fini. So let's see what he goes for as Pex comes out. He doubles into Garchomp, which was a good play covering Pex and Trent. And um, yeah, this Garchomp is most likely rocks. I don't know what item it will be, because Z-Move is most likely on the Volcarona. I don't think Garchomp would be Scarf either, because like I said, like it's probably the Rocker, and Rock's Scarf seems like an awful set. So Superior might be the Scarfer, or he might just not have a Scarfer. I also think he has double Defog. Um, Black might just want to throw off a Toxic here because um, Pex can live any one hit from Garchomp. Um, if Insult is SD, he can go for SD, or otherwise he's just going to throw off the rocks. And yeah, I'm pretty sure Insult is going to have double Defog because you want to support the World Corona, which is four times weak to rocks with double Defog. Um, Fini is 100% going to be Defog, is what I'm thinking. And he just just throw up, he does just throw up the rocks, and Black goes for Toxic. Now. Um, I don't know, if he's SD that could be the play here, or he could also just attack. Um, if he's physical Garchomp, Tangros waltz this, so I could also see Insult doubling, but he does go for Draco, he reveals to be uh, probably a mixed Garchomp is what I'm thinking, and he goes for Haze on a Draco, which is funny because it gets rid of the minus two, but um, it's unlikely that Block is gonna stay in here, he's either gonna go, like, I think he might go Tang or Lando, so I think Draco again might be a good play. Mm, like, I think this is Chain Chomp, that's how you call it, Life Orb Mixed with like Earthquake, Draco, Rocks, and I think the last move is Fire Blast, I'm not sure what else it would be. And yeah, the Zapdos on Insult's team could be um, Roost, Defog 2 attacks, or it could be Roost 3 attacks, it just depends on if Zap or if Superior is a secondary Defogger. Um, yeah, if, yeah, just depends on that. He doubles in the Marwell, I'm not 100% sure what he predicted there, maybe he doesn't have Fire coverage on this. Um, this doesn't work out that well for Insult because he doesn't get the Intimidate off on the on the Tangros. If he Draco it again, that would have been amazing for Insult because this Tangros is fist step and it would have gotten destroyed by another Draco. I think he could have potentially Draco it again because it was unlikely that Black was going to stay in and sack the Pex to Earthquake. I think Draco again would have been a hard play, would have caught the Lando or the, pack, uh, or the Tangros, my bad. But now Insult probably... Um, what does he want to go to here? Maybe into Zapdos? Um, or he can also just play rough, I guess. As he goes in a Heatran anticipating play rough to come out. Like, since the tank was his fist death, he could have technically stayed in there and gone for like... I don't know if this has Sleep Powder. If it doesn't have Sleep Powder, then I guess switching out was a fine play. And maybe he doesn't have Earthquake on Tangrowth either. But now, uh, Insult is forced out here as Black is gonna be able to get the rocks up. And Insult is gonna go into either Garchomp or Tapu Fini. Uh, most likely in the Tapu Fini. But yeah, Black can just get off the rocks here and kind of force Insult to default because he has a Volcarona. I'm thinking the Volcarona is most likely a Z Bug Buzz on this team because uh, Z Bug Buzz variant. 
uh, because like I said earlier he doesn't have to be Z psychic since he has mons like um, Morwell and Garchomp that can pressure the Toxapex packs and in Misty Terrain they can come in hard on packs and don't have to fear getting status. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm thinking. But even like if he's Z Psychic, that's amazing for him. If he can get this in, like if he can get the Volcarona in and set it up on like the right mon, that would be amazing for him. But yeah, he does just defog his own rocks away, and now he went hard into Lele, which was a fine play. Like he could have, he was either gonna defog there, or he was gonna Nature's Madness, or he was gonna go for a Water move. So um, Finny was. Lele was a perfectly fine play for him, and now we can just go for Spec Psychic. There is no Dark type on Insult's team, and something is getting to it. KO the O code. Uh, Finny can probably live a Psychic barely, but I assume it's going to do like 75 or 80 ish, uh, 81 actually. What does he go for Moonblast or Nature's Madness? Yeah, Moonblast, and that's 33, and he does not get a special attack drop. So now he's either going to have to sack the Finny, or he's going to have to let something else go down. Um, the Finny is like good to keep, but he also doesn't have a good switch in for this, so I'm not sure what he's gonna do here. This Lily has like such a good matchup for him. Hmm. Yeah, he might just throw something out here if he wants to keep the Finny. As he throws out the Sapiri, I'm pretty sure that's gonna die in one because it's spec psychic turn boosted exactly. Now he goes in the Garchum, which can obviously kill the Lily with Earthquake here. The rocks are quite obvious. Mm, Blanc might just go hard Lando here if Lando can live a Draco from this. Or he might just he might also stay in predicting the Garchomp to go for rocks. Because honestly, like Block also doesn't have switch-ins to this Garchomp at all. Because like if he goes like Lando or Tangrowth and gets blown away by Draco, like I don't think he likes that. And now this Lily is also in range. From Volcarona. Uh, he might just stay in Psychic again, because Insult might like want to get his rocks back up. Um, yeah, this is a tough matchup overall for Insult, unless his Volcarona has the exact perfect coverage for uh, Black's team, but I assume the Pax probably walls the Volcarona. And the Toxic was obviously really annoying for Insult since um, Psychic Terrain was up earlier, when, I think, when the Pax. As Psychic again and just kills the Chomp by predicting the rocks. And also, one predicting the rocks and Slash, he didn't really have a good switch in for it, so it made perfect sense. Now, Volcarona Slash, uh, Morwell can come out here. I think you go Volcarona here because that kind of forces him to stay in and then you can probably kill the um, Lele with a Fire Blast. Um, I don't know if Bugbus kills. If Bugbus kills, I guess that's another potential play. Because um, if Black switches out on the Volcarona as the Volcarona Quiver dances and the Volcarona has the perfect coverage for him, then he just loses, I think, potentially. So he definitely has to stay in here and Psychic again. So I agree with going into Volcarona. Um, then another potential play would have been more well, like I said. And yeah, I think. You go for the move that kills, obviously, I don't know the Kalk. If Bugbus kills, you can go for that, otherwise you can go for Fire Blast. Uh, if you have the perfect coverage and you think you can win right here with Volk, you can also Quiver Dance, but I don't think he has the coverage, so he just Fire Blast and gets rid of the Lele, which is good for Insult, because he had, like, nothing for Lele. Uh, whenever Lele came out on, like, Zap or Finny, it would have been super annoying for Insult. Now, Pex or Heatran... Well, Greninja can actually come out here if it has coverage to hit the Volk. I think the Greninja has Z-Water on this team, but he does go into Landris, okay. So he's either going to defog or Stone Edge here, if he has Stone Edge that is, but since he brought it out in the Volk, I assume he has Edge. I think he's just going to click Edge here. Um, Insult is either going to go hard, if he goes hard more, well, it would be a hard play, but otherwise, okay, he just just sacked the Tapu Fini. This would have worked out for Insult if the Lando went for defog right there, because then he could have gotten health back, and Lando would have been forced out. So he goes in the Marwell knowing that the Lando is locked into Scarf Stone Edge, and now either the Tren or the Pex or, um, is going to come out here, so we could see a Thunder Punch here. Or a knockoff. Well, I think this is Thunder Punch because, um, like I said earlier, you want something. As he does go Thunder Punch and kills the Grin. Yeah, you want something to pressure Pex because your Volcarona, I assume, doesn't have a coverage to kill Pex. Just the way his team is built. He has breakers like Chomp and Mobile that can um, power through Pex for Volcarona, which makes me think that Volcarona doesn't have the Psychic, the Shadow Psychic, yeah. So Hedron comes out now, and Insult really doesn't have a good switch in. Like, I mean, it's a Lava Plume Spadeftrin, so I guess Zapdos can potentially wall it. And, like, if Terrain ends, if Zapdos has this judge, he can fish for Para on the Tren. Um, he's either gonna switch out into Volk or into Zap here. Morwell is still valuable and he won't, doesn't want to stay in here. And, yeah, Black can either go for Lava Plume or he can get his rocks back up. Those are pretty much the two plays. Yeah, this Heatran does not have Toxic, so Zapdos can actually beat it. 
especially if Zapdos has Discharge. Also, um, I think most of you will probably think I pronounce Zapdos really weird. That's just how I say it. I know I'm German, like some name, some months I just pronounce them weirdly or weird, however you say that. But yeah, I think either, I mean, if Volker's HP ground, it can definitely come out here. I feel like it's Quiver Dance, Fire Blast, Bug Pass, and the last move kind of has to be HP ground, right? What else would it be? Like if it's Shattered Psych, HP ground, Bug, no, no, he already revealed Fire Blast, yeah. And like I said earlier, I don't think he is Shattered Psych. So he doubles out here, anticipating the Toxapex to come out, and uh, doubles into Morwell, uh, which pretty much confirms that he's not Shattered Psych, that he's only Fire Blast, HP ground, and uh, probably Bug Buzz, and then either Z Bug Buzz or Z Fire Blast, and Quivalence in the last slot. And now, um, he's either gonna Thunder Punch, or he's gonna predict the Lander to come out. Um, if he goes on a Tangrowth, does he predict that? No, just Thunder Punch, just plays it safe, and he's probably gonna take some Rocky Helmet. No, it's not a Rocky Helmet. So he did change it, unless it got knocked off early, and I didn't pay attention. Plareoff does a ton. So, I'm gonna run a Kalk later here, if that is actually, um... Uh, still helmet fizz death tank. Well, it's not helmet obviously, but I'm gonna run a calc if it's More so sped death tank growth. Uh, it would make a lot of sense actually for him to change It would make a lot of sense for him to change the tangos to AV because Alakazam is a huge threat to this team and also like Coco can destroy this team kind of so like when this team was used in World Cup Mega Alakazam was kind of not that common so it makes sense for the little, for the Tangrus to be AV now when Alakazam is more common. I actually didn't talk about that earlier, but I should have recognized that. That you probably have to change it to AV um, Tangrus. And his play going into Tangrus, um, as he protect, protects there, and it's obviously HP ground. Um, I don't know if I would have protected on a potential Quiver Dance right there, but now Insult doubles into um, Mobile predicting the um, packs to come out, because he's obviously walled by the packs with its Volk. Like, I don't know if I would have protected with the trend, because what if he Quiver Dance is there, but since the packs, the way Insult has been playing this, since the packs walls to Volk Runa, um, I, he was fine with, Protect was a okay, was a fine play for him. And so he Thunder Punches, and he's gonna Scald to Fish here, and if he gets the burn, it would be really bad for Insult. Does not get the burn. Now, would you player here predicting the switch? Um, oh, he goes Heatran, actually, uh, as he does player. Yeah, I mean, that would have covered the potential Landris play. Mm, now Zap comes out on a most likely Lava Plume, that's what we're gonna see here, exactly. And it gets a crit and it doesn't do that much, because it's only a bulky trend, so Zap can roost here. Uh, he's probably gonna Elf Power anticipating the roost to come out. But yeah, him going into Tangrowth earlier on the Draco, Tr potential next Draco from Trump was actually completely fine then, if he's not Helmet. Um, I have to take that back then, I thought it was Helmet and he didn't have a switch in, but yeah. Like I said, Mega Alakazam is a huge threat. Um, there's probably other special attackers that I can't think about right now that are a threat if the tank is not AV. So does he risk again predicting the protect? No, he just hidden power. Pretty sure that's hidden power ice. Um, which means he is hidden power icing a heat ran, which means he is roost. He's roost, heat wave, hidden power ice, and I don't think he's discharged if he's hidden power icing a heat ran. His electric move is most likely just volt switch then. Um, which makes some sense because it can get in the breakers, the guard room and the mobile and it can also get the Volcarona in and if you get Volcarona in on like a clef you can potentially set up with Volcarona or if you get it up on other passive mons like if you get it in on the Tangros, that could also be good so a Volt Switch does make sense on the Zapdos so he's roosting here um, Black is um, getting the turns right and clicking off power on the roost and now he does catch him again, play, gets the play right, Lava Blooms on the turn, he doesn't go for Roost. Now Insult is forced to Roost here. Um, also there's a chance Black gets a Spit Death Drop at one of these Earth Powers. Um, so Insult is just gonna spam Roost here and hope to not get Spit Death Drop. Oh, he yeah, HP is there, breaking into, breaking into Earth Power, okay, reads him there, reads him there, okay, good, good one. Uh, earth Power is actually a roll to kill him. I mean, yeah, I completely get that, he's HP icing now trying to... Oh my god, Goat Sold. And the Zapdos is pressure if I did see it correct, so he's actually stalling out off power PP from Heatran. Which means Heatran is eventually gonna run out, and yeah. Damn, Insult got him there twice with the hidden power ice and the off power. And we can see the Heatran only has four off powers left. <laughs> Cause and he does get in there with the roost on the um Damn, Insult is playing this really well right now. Like I was just saying he's gonna roost again, but then he um knew that Black was gonna off power. And he didn't want to risk the roll, and Mans went for HPS twice on the Earth Power. Now he's just gonna roost again, and the Hedron, um, yeah, it's gonna run out of Earth Power. I didn't. Does it have one left? But like, Hedron is pretty much forced out by the Zap. 
But their Zap obviously can't touch this packs. The way this has been played, it doesn't have Discharge. So I assume he's just gonna Volt Switch here. Um, well, I guess, yeah. You have to Volt Switch, right? Um, Roost again doesn't really get you much. And now, what's the sack here? Yeah, I guess you sacked the Volcarona, right? Oh, we go hard into Marwell, okay. On a Recover, yeah. Also, um, since the Zap is most likely Roost, Volt Switch, Heatwave, and HPIs, I think Saperia was a secondary Defogger. So I assume Saperia has like a Defog, a Leaf Storm, Glare variant, and then maybe with a Coverage move. Or maybe, yeah. And I'm thinking it might actually be Scarf Superior because he has no other Scarfa. His Garchomp is Life Up, his Volcus, obviously Z. Life is on Finny and Zap and Mega Mawa. Pretty sure it's most likely Scarf. So um, he goes Lando there predicting the Thunder Punch. Does Insult predict that? Oh, no, Insult goes in the Zap. Well, yeah. And now he has to hit Stone Edge. So um, I think you want to go into Mawile here because Mawile is out of range where Stone Edge Tweet KOs it. Um, that was a good double there by Black. Yeah, 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 obviously. He um, went Zap because Zap can actually wall the trend since Trend would run out of Earth Power if it's not out of Earth Power already, and Lava Plume doesn't do that much. And Zap can roost on it, and Pressure was able to help him stall out Heat Trend's PP, so yeah. Um, edge is like really obvious here, and you don't want to stay in because. Well, if you stay in on a dodge, that would be great, but I don't think you want to risk it right now. Um, but overall, this is looking. This doesn't look too great for Insult. Like, he. He made it close though, but if Black hits all his edges late, like, like Edge pretty much cleans if, when Moba goes down. Like Edge kills Zapdos, and I don't remember how healthy the Volk is. I think the Volk might be out of range. Like it still might be able to live rocks. Is what I'm trying to say. So now you can just predict the Heatran or the Pex to come out here with like T Punch or whatever coverage move you want to click. Um, I think he doesn't have a fighting move. I already said it earlier because. He would have potentially clicked fighting move earlier, predicting Tran if he had it. Uh, which makes sense because his Volcarona does have HP ground to hit Heatran, so he does not need Focus Punch um, or Brick Break. We have seen Mimulet use Brick Break actually, which was for um, specifically for Tran. If Tornadoes U turns on you, he explained it in the old T threat, then Focus Punch doesn't work if you get U turned on into Heatran from Torn. But he had Brick Break for that specific reason, which is crazy. But yeah, I definitely think he's gonna have to switch out here into Tran. Maybe into packs, so he can definitely click T punch here, predicting the switch. Because, um, like, if Black Sex does Landorus, uh, he's in a bad spot, so he definitely doesn't want to sack his Landorus. It's just really obvious that he's gonna switch. So he goes packs, do we? Does he predict that? Does he go for T punch, good play. And now, Plareth might not kill here, but there's also a chance he gets Parrot, so okay, he just T punches again. I thought he might want to play off, but yeah, I guess, yeah, Black wasn't gonna go back to land and risk it there, so T punch again was a fine play, yeah, never mind. So now he's gonna have to sack. Oh, uh, well, let's see, it's the Volk. It's at 63, which means it's at 13 after rocks or 14, whatever. So we're sacking either the Morwell. Sucker Punch gets some chip off and Lava Plume picks off Morwell. And now. I think he's. I mean, it's either Zap and play Roost here. Or oh, it's go Volk. Uh, let's go in a Volk and. I think he's just gonna click HP ground and Black obviously has to stay in here because if he switches out on Equivalence that could actually be really bad for him so he had to stay in there. Now he has to hit Stone Edge on the Volk and he has to hit Stone Edge on the Zapdos otherwise he loses. And I think he <laughs> I think he already um, hit Stone Edge on early on the game like he already hit multiple Stone Edges so like there's actually a chance he's gonna miss one for sure like we all know how Stone Edge works. He says in the chat Fortunately, I've never missed an edge in my life. Um, I don't know why you're saying that, because that's kind of like... <laughs> that's jinxing it, right? I have really, really hard zap here, though. So, um, he's obviously going to lock into Stone Edge, because if he locks into Earthquake, Zapdos would just win with HPI, so he has to lock into Stone Edge. Uh, Insult is just going to click Fire Blast here, in case he dodges. Um, or if he has a Z-move that can kill the lander from here, then he can click that. But I assume Fireblast is the move. So he does hit the first edge. Um, I think he already hit, he hit like four or five edges like during the entire game, I think. So now he has to hit another one on the zap. And uh, Insult is just going to click HP IC and it comes down to this turn. If Insult um, dodges, he wins. If Stone Edge hits, Blag wins. And he does dodge and HP IC is going to come out. Kill the Landers and Insult is up 1-0 versus Blag. And I'm going to tell you guys the calc right now. So Mega Mobile uh, player of does 55 to 65 versus Tangrowth, which which AV Tangrowth that actually does less than I thought it would. 
Um, so yeah, I'm thinking the Tangerus was AV. Like I didn't like scroll back. I'm not gonna like go back. I'm pretty sure it took around that much. So he's probably AV tank, which like I explained it earlier, it makes a lot of sense because his team was weak to special attackers like Zam and Coco. There's probably other special attackers. Put them in the comments. I cannot think about them at the moment. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for game two later. And yeah, I'm happy obviously my main insult is up 1-0. I mean to be fair, if you hit Stonish, if you click Stonish it often, eventually he's gonna miss, but it's still really annoying for him. But yeah, peace out friends, smash the like button if you enjoyed and have a good one.